Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ant Holfer YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at my brand new experiment. This is the Vacious Night Experiment 2021. Now last year we had a big experiment, this year it is even bigger. Although this year it's probably a lot more useful for most people than last year. Now in the beginning of this video I will be explaining what the experiment is all about and how it will work. So it will be a long three to four minute segment about me just chatting about the experiment. But let me know what you think about this experiment in the comments down below. Also, a massive thank you to Wakushi for providing me with some nests for this experiment. There will be a link in the description to both Wakushi and if you use the code ANTHOLIFER with all caps, you will get yourself 10% off your next purchase. And with all of this out of the way, let's start the experiment. So to explain a little about the Lacius Niger experiment 2021, we have 16 colonies and well these 16 colonies are individually named after the alphabet. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G and onwards. Now, 8 of these colonies will be in a small Wakushi nest, 4 of them will be in light and 2 of the 4 in light will be with heat and 2 of the 4 in light will be without heat. Then there'll be four with no light, one with a red acrylic lid and heat, one with a black acrylic lid and heat, one with a red acrylic lid and no heat, and one with a black acrylic lid and no heat. The other eight colonies are in a similar layout. We have four with light, two of the four with light is also with heat, and two of the four with light is also without heat. Then we once again have four colonies with no light, one with red and heat, one with black and heat, one with red and no heat, and one with black and no heat. And this is the entire experiment. Now why do I have 16 different colonies and why is this experiment such a large experiment? My thought was basically what do I want to test this year and the thing I want to test the most is in a nest and without a nest. And then I thought you know what that's that's just quite a small experiment because it's just have a test tube colony and a colony in a nest. So then I thought, well, a lot of people say that ants don't have to be in a red acrylic lid and they don't even have to be in the dark at all. So therefore I have some colonies with a red lid and with a black lid and some colonies without a lid at all to just to see if the stressing environment of my ant room's bright light being turned on and off will stress the colony out. Now, I know already now somebody is heading down to the comments saying you're not in the ant room all day long and they will require the same kind of light all day long. Yes, I know that. If ants should be completely sterile for the light, it needs to be the same light all day long. Now, my ant room is really dark until I go in here because no sun enters because all the sun will burn my colonies. Therefore, this is a dark room almost all day long. But that could be the case in your home as well. So this is just to see if a regular colony in a dark but also bright environment will suffer or maybe it will just be the same result. I don't know. And lastly we have the heated part. And this is once again because a lot of people say you have to heat your colonies because well it makes the colony grow a lot faster. And I'm sitting here thinking yeah that makes sense. But now I'm also testing it so there's eight colonies with heat and eight colonies without heat. And now this experiment is not anything you can conclude anything of when it's done. Maybe you can't, maybe you can't. Maybe it's really clear that all the black colonies are doing better, all the red co colonies are doing better, all the heated colonies are doing better. Only time will tell. So that's also why this is a big experiment and it will be a big conclusion as well because it's not just one small conclusion like the 2020 Lazius Niger experiment. This will be a big and delicate conclusion when it's all done in next year maybe in two years time i don't know i am planning on running this experiment for quite some time but i talked a little bit about wakushi sending some nests now as i said in the intro this experiment is provided by wakushi so thank you wakushi now you made this really cool box and i had opened it wrong now i couldn't figure out how to open it but then i finally got it the correct way and i was supposed to see this cool lacious night year experiment 2021 let the experiment begin but anyways, I cut it out so you can see it. So these are the small founding nests. 
These are the Quakushi nest. Now these are a little bit specialized as the entrance into the humidified area. This is where you water the nest. This entrance is a little bit smaller and that is just to keep up the hydration and keep up the humidity for much longer time within this being a small hole instead of a big hole. But as you can see in the background, I'm slowly unboxing all of this. This is an all-in-one module, meaning that when the first workers arrive, I will also be able to feed them in this little module. So this is actually a really perfect founding module. I know a lot of people have small style nests, but they are quite big. This is not big at all. Now, now I'm just packing out the different lids. So we'll have two colonies with a black lid, two colonies with a red lid, and four colonies with outlet. The cool thing is I also got these really small feeding dishes that fit perfectly into the nest module. And yeah, a few weeks later, all 16 colonies with queens. On the right side, that's just a colony I forgot to remove, but 16 colonies and they are all in the correct location. As you can see on the top, we have a heating cable going under the test tubes and over the nest. Now the rug is just there because, well, the heat cable gets up and there's a rug to put it down a little bit. But there's not really much to it. We have 16 colonies and this is the lineup. Now, as I said, I captured these queens about a month ago. So I think we should already look a little bit and see, is there any big surprises already or is it all pretty similar results so far? But getting into how it's going, all 16 colonies have laid eggs. And most of the colonies have also larvae. Now there's a few colonies here and there, one with a red lid and one with a black lid and two test tubes where there are some large larvae. But elsewhere most of the larvae are in the beginning stages. But already now I think it's pretty cool that you can see a major difference between the different test tubes. But zooming in, this is pretty much how the nest looks. As you can see, we have a nice and big egg pile. Now again, some of these egg piles are in early larvae stage and some of these egg piles are in a little bit later larvae stage. I found it really impressive how many eggs this one queen have laid. I thought it would only be like 5 or 10, but maybe these eggs will just slowly be eaten as the queen needs to feed the colony more protein. Now zooming out a little bit, we have one colony that is really weird. That is colony O, and this colony O is the test tube with a red acrylic cover. And this one colony already have pupae. They have like 10 pupae, and I'm not sure if it's the same Lacius niger species or it's another species. I am almost 100% sure it isn't Lacius niger, just because they already have pupae. Now that is quite mind blowing as the second largest colony only have two large larvae and that's around three colonies with two large larvae. Most of the colonies are just in early larvae stage and egg stage. And then there's this one colony O with pupae. Now I'm looking forward to seeing when these pupae hatch within not too long surprisingly and seeing if it is just regular niger or I have picked up a flavus or another species. From the looks of the queen, I can't see any difference. A little bit less surprising is colony F. This is a colony in a nest and with a black lid. This is the second largest colony with five big larvae. It's still miles behind colony O, but this makes a lot more sense as the colony is heated. But looking around, there isn't really any big difference if we just forget about colony O. Now, of course, this will be the big debate about is it better to use test tubes or is it better to use nests? I have already screwed up a little bit of the experiment. Now this is very early and I'm kind of sad that I've already done this. This is with colony G and colony H. And these are the two nests you see on the bottom side that is with the red and with the black acrylic lid and no heat. I overwatered both of these nests and just a tiny bit of water came inside the gyrosome water block. I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry. but. I don't know, it wasn't enough for the colony to drown or anything, but it was enough for the eggs to be moved all over the place and the queen in colony H moved out of the hydration chamber and took her eggs with her and it was just really messy and now they have kind of eggs all over the place. Now originally I thought this was due to them being infertile, but now I think it's because I overwatered it and maybe they will be behind the rest of the experiment or maybe they will take all of the brood, bunch it up again and they will be fine. But yeah, this has been the introduction to the Lacius Nightjar Experiment 2021. And again, this is the setup. And yeah, Holofers, 
that's been it for this video. Once again, a massive thank you to Wakushi for providing me with these products. Once again, link in the description and use the code ANTHOLOFER for 10% off your next purchase. Now this is the new experiment. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. It's a lot more ethical than last year because this is a lot more useful for other ant species as well. But yeah, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe everybody. Become a channel member today if you like. And I'll see you all in another video. Bye!